And hello everybody, uh, this is a quick tutorial how to install Kext on uh, the newest version of OpenCore 06.6. .6. It should be the same for older versions as well. So the Kext I'm going to install is this one on the desktop. So this will work the same with every Kext. Uh, so it shouldn't be any different if you are using any other Kext. So uh, the thing I have, I do not have Ethernet support, so I don't have internet. So if you go into Ethernet cards, you should see this computer does not appear to have any PCI Ethernet cards installed. So we're going to fix that. And I'm going to show you how to load Kext using OpenCore. So uh, the first thing we need to do is open a program called Mount EFI. There are other programs that can do the same thing as well, uh, but this is the one that I like to use. So let's just open that. I will have it linked in the description as well. And then you will get a window here. So uh, I have a USB drive inside that is installed Mac OS Big Sur. And that's not the one we want to open the EFI on. So I will press 2 because that's Mac OS. That is my SSD. And you will need to type in your password. And there you go. That's my IFE drive. So I'm just going to terminate that. Go to uh, no name, EFI. OC, open core, and then this is the config uh, plist that we will have to go in and change a couple stuff in. But first, what we want to do is just put this text where it should be, and it should be in this folder. And I just copy and paste it. So it is, I can do this instead. So uh, when you open the OC, you will have the text folder there. So then we're going to have to open the config plist as well. And there are a bunch of different programs you can use for this. Uh, I use one called uh, Proper Tree. So this one I do recommend. Uh, I think it's the best one. Uh, I will also have this linked in, in the video description. So uh, you open this command, just double click it, and then the program will be opened. So you press File, Open, and then I need to search for my config.plist. So I just press no name here, EFI, OC, config.plist, open. So uh, there's a lot of things in here and you shouldn't touch, if, if you don't understand what it does, you shouldn't touch it basically, uh, because you can ruin a lot of stuff from here. So uh, we will just get rid of those because this is the one we actually want, the kernel and add. This is where all your kecks are loaded. So this tells uh, macOS every time that it boots that it should load all of these texts uh, to get everything to work. So you see I have a bunch of different texts here to make everything run smoothly. And then we will go down here. Uh, I, will, I have eight texts here loaded. So what I usually do is just I copy one and just paste that. And then we will put that right there. Uh, so this is called zero now, it shouldn't be called zero, uh, let's see, because we do not want to have two zeros. Uh, oh, okay, it's not under the same, yes, that's how I want it. Uh, you see, it's, it's important that it's under the same submenu, so it needs to be under kernel add then you have your uh, different kecks. So it, it should automatically, in proper tree, it automatically just uh, gets a new value, plus one. So uh, when you have just copied this, you see I have exactly the same, uh, exactly the same kernel loaded here. So we want to change this to the new kernel instead. So uh, when you go on bundle path, you need to insert what the kext is actually called. And the one that I want to install here is called Small Tree Intel 85576. So just copy this whole thing. And then we import it here, like that, save it. And then we also need to show external path should also be filled in. Uh, so what you just need to do then is, uh, what, what it wants is the path inside of the text file. What you can do is just open, uh, open like that. No, show package content, sorry. Then you go into content, 
Mac OS and small tree Intel. Uh, that's the one I want. So what you can do is uh, hold in Alt and then you will see copy small tree Intel as path name. So that should do. And we do not want all of this because that's too much. So what you only need to do is content. Mac OS small tree Intel like that. So now it's telling it to load it, and what we also want is plist path. So let's see. Okay, we need to copy this one. There, plist path, uh, and this should just be contents info plist because you see plist, we have it right here. So that that is going to tell that where to look for it, and that is important. So. What we have done here is we have inserted the text in the folder that's called text on our EFI drive. And then we have added a value onto our main config plist. Tell it to load this one when it boots. And also this is important, this should be enabled. That should be true. We also have a path for the plist in, in the text, uh, text file and also where the ex executable path is. So uh, we have told it everything it should need. So what we can do now is just save this file, save, then we should be able to close it. And then we have it right here. And right now nothing will happen because this is, uh, this is to tell macOS when it boosts that it needs to, needs to open those kex files that they should be enabled. So we still have this computer does not have a PCI Ethernet card installed. So to fix that, we just need to reboot it right now. So uh, then we're back after the restart and hopefully my text is installed correctly, but we will have to see now. <laughs> so let's see system report and then I'm gonna check Ethernet cards. Yes, it is installed and we should have internet now. We didn't before, but now we should. So let's try apple.com and it works. So. Now this text is loaded, so in my EFE drive. So if you do like I did uh, with your text or texts, if you have uh, more than one, then it should work. So you, you can just trial and error. What I do is I have a bootloader on my USB as well that I know works. So if I ever mess anything up, I could still load into macOS with the bootloader I have on my USB drive. So that I would recommend people doing as well because you can mess stuff up and if you do, uh, macOS won't boot. So it's always good to have backup. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. If there's any queries or any questions, just uh, please comment them below and I will try to get back to you and try to help you. So thank you guys. Have a good one.